Hi everyone. <clears throat> right, I'm just going back to show you some. Um, do you remember the shabby chic flower? I mean, I've just done it with the lace, adding the earring in the middle. Um, I mean, obviously you can put feathers and, and um, pearls, and, and we're going to do some of that. We're just going to make some flowers up. These are using up the oddments that I've got that you know I've either been sent or um, let me get that off there. I didn't see that. Uh, that somebody sent me or bits I've been collecting things like that and I absolutely love these flowers they're so shabby chic and they're beautiful much better than bought flowers save your money save your money for the things you can't make and make the things you can so I'm just gonna get some uh, pearls and feathers on that um, as usual I never had them at hand like I should have done but never mind so we find some pearls um, let me see hmm I like the iridescent ones. I like the small ones as well. And um, but you can use any. <coughs> I just want to show you that quite a bit, so I uh, don't keep running back and forth. And um, let me see what else I've got. Yeah, there's a pearl on there. Oh, I like that one as well. And then I'm going to get some, uh, like I say, some uh, feathers. I'm going to bring my drawer out. I have a big drawer of feathers because I use them an awful lot. So, here we go. Different pearls. And we'll probably make some stick pins as well. So, I'll get, I'll get those. Um, just to try and give you a few things to do. And I'll just use those at the moment. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is, <coughs> I've already made these, so I'm going to make the flowers first before I decorate them with the stick pins and that. Um, and all I've done is cut some um, little circles out. I mean, have they, um, I think that's the inch, the two inch, or inch and a half. And what you do is, I've, like I say, I've shown you these before, so no point um, in um, messing about. I just thought I'll come back and show you how to add the other bits to them, because I only showed the actual flower. Take your flower, you want it face up, uh, take your flower, take your lace, you need it face up, and then cross them at the back like that. And then just drop that down and pin it together. You need to pop some glue on the back and a little bit of glue just inside because when you pinch it together like that it holds the material in place, the lace okay, like that very very quick you need four on the first layer at least four like that a little bit inside turn it round, you can do them opposite or just work around the circle no problem whatsoever which way you do it, it's nothing. Again, cross them over like that. I'm just going to pop that on and pinch it at the same time. Like that. Take another one. That's, uh, that's it. I usually cut diff two different sizes of lace, one about four inch and one three inch, so that your three inch sits in the next layer. But uh, I'm not always, I don't always do uh, two layers. That one is a two layered one to give it a good fullness, and that one's a one. So it doesn't matter, it's whatever suits you. And if there's any points on anything, I generally cut those off like that, just to trim them so they're not sticking out and look odd. Okay, so we've got that, and and I was going to fix that onto there, but that's too big. But what I do have uh, is this one. I'm going to put this flower in actually, like that, and I'm just going to pop that in the centre, and then to that, um, I'm going to add a pearl. Put my pearls down. Oh, it's too small. Get a nice big pearl for that one. 
we've got some here. There we go, there's a nice, oh, like a nice cream one, I think. Nice cream pearl. So you pop a little bit of glue on that and you sit that in the flower. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Beautiful. And to glam it up a little bit more, you can, and it doesn't matter, it won't hurt it. Is uh, Think of your crafting when you craft as layering. You know, without going over the top. Layer your products. Your, your stuff, everything you use, layer it. Until you know you've got the right look. And that, and I've what I've done is I've just put a little bit of stickles on there, just to glam that up a little bit more. Okay, and then we're just going to leave that to dry. Make another flower like that. Oops, sorry. Put that upside down. So that's another one waiting to be sorted out. Um, take another card. Take some more lace, do exactly the same again. Pop that on and pinch like that. This is a lovely, lovely flower made from lace. And you know, in the shops, you're paying quite a bit for them, but we don't want to do that. We, we never do that if we can help it. Never buy what one can make. Now, that seems to have come under... Oh, that's it. Just pull that back. This is the best thing about these. If they slightly come under the back, just pull them back. And then squash that back in. And like you say, with the corner bit, you just snip that off. It doesn't matter at all. So we've got that. And <clears throat> take another piece. Swing that around, pop that on, like that, okay? Pretty on its own, isn't it? I might just put that button in a minute. No, I don't know. I'm going to put some pearls in it, I think. I have a shabby chic one. So that was one, just there. One there. And then one there. Push them in, push them together. Beautiful little shabby sheet flower there. Look at that. And that's only using the one layer. Um, so to use these and then do something with them. I, I like this one. I like the uh, earring there. It's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do then is to take some of this. Uh, this one I think I'll use. Pearl string. Right, like that. Just small sections of it. You can always trim it down, it doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do, take a little bit of glue and then inside each one you've made, like that, just pop a little bit of the bead. Or pop them wherever you want. It doesn't have to be just like that and just there at all. You can put them wherever you want. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. You just pop them in like that. Doesn't matter which way they go, anything like that. They are called shabby chic. They're not called shabby chic for nothing. And can I just say, ladies um, and gents, um, if you if you.
try something that somebody else has made. And I'm not having a go at anybody. But it is nice to recognise where you saw it. So if you just think on a little bit, you know, mention where you saw it first. Because it doesn't mean you're copying somebody. It, what, if it's giving them, the person that you've done it from, flattery. You're flattering them by copying what they do. Um, and when I say copying, it's you're trying out and you put your own twist to it. It doesn't actually mean you're copy, copy, copying in that, in that sense. Because nobody would be on YouTube to make something and then say, Yo, you copied me. Because that's just silly. Don't go on YouTube for it. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim these down a little bit. They're a little bit long, but they won't go to waste because I use them elsewhere. Okay. Just put them on like that. Because you don't need much. I'm going to put the last one in here, actually. So it's decent, you know, courtesy to turn around and say, Oh, I saw this and so-and-so did it first. So just think on, especially newbies and that. And you're not, you won't know the, um, you know, the courtesy rule or anything like that. But we... It's just nice that if you've seen something, you let somebody know where you've seen it in the first place um, and that. And also, um, you know, unless it's patented, nobody should complain. Unless you've patented a um, design, to be honest. And uh, so, don't worry about it. <laughs> now I'm going to take one of these pins which is about three I think it's two and a half inch and then what I'm going to do is to use I've got a nice big pearl here so I'm going to use this one on there like that um, and then I've got some crystal beads which I'm going to use And I do have, oh I've got one of those, I didn't, I didn't realise I had one of those, and one of those I can use. That needs to go in there. Yeah, some bits and pieces here I can use. Um, use one of these. Pretty, isn't it? And then I think, yes I do, I have a small... In fact, I'm going to put that on first, I think. A little diamante. Yes, I like that. Um, and then I've got like a cup, which is a, called a bead cap for those that don't know it, because some, you know, newbies don't know what everything is. No, don't like that one. Don't like that one at all. Oops. It was a little bit better, that one, actually. Still don't like it. Uh, I'm like that sometimes. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that though. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? So I'm going to have that. In fact, I'm going to take that one off and just use that one. I do like that. Pretty. So what you do, pop it on and turn it round. Like that. That gorgeous. And then what I'm going to do with that one, I am going to put it in this one. You have to just carefully, carefully. Let me see if I can do that. Because sometimes when you've glued them, they don't go in. But uh, we'll keep trying. Yeah, it's going. It's fine. It's going. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is just uh, put a couple of flower uh, feathers on it. I think I do have, yes I do, I'm not choosing white because you don't have to follow that, that's just as nice, I generally take off the bottom bit and use those for butterflies, use them for butterflies, don't waste them, and then just take a couple of those off, and glue that, and then just pop that on where you want it. Like that. Um, and that one's not long enough to uh, cut, so I will just glue it as is. There. 
like that. And then what I can do is take one of my back panel, uh, back tabs and do that. And there you've got a really pretty flower. Shabby chic flower that you can use anywhere. So we'll do that one again. We're going to make another stick pin. Do with a large-ish, large-ish, large-ish. Can't even speak today. Do have a large-ish bead, which we can get through, I'm sure. Oh no, it's not one of those tight. Oh, right, okay. So we just do that. Pop another one of these on. Hmm. We'll just do that, I think. Different colour. Pop the bead cap on. Not keen on these bead caps. Let me just see if that's any better. I suppose it could be. And just sit that on like that. And then like you say, you can poke that into the double layer that you've got. Like that. Oh, glue strings get everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I might actually move that to there. It's because of the glue you've used, uh, you know, that um, hardens, so it can take a while to work it out. That's it, that's better. So you can see that, look. I like, I like it back there, to be honest. Because you can see it through the, the lace. Um, and with this one, I think we'll just use... It's a blue. Now, let me just see, because I want to make sure I have the right blue in the feathers. Yes, I have. I have a beautiful blue here. So, and it matches perfect. And these are a smaller feather. Now, with my... Um, oh, not Marabou. With this type of feather, you basically just blow them and it separates them straight away. You know, well, I mean, that's gorgeous, that colour. Like that. Just blow them and it separates them and they really do look pretty. See, like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then if I want to, I can just put a little bit of bead in. Um, just put a, a double lot of beads, because this is a tiny bead, look at this. Tiny weeny one. i just do that. And then all I'm going to do is, I am going to stick it in here. See, I'm just going to do that, pop that glue in there and then hold four ends together and do that. And you've just got a beautiful flower like that, with a bit of pearl and trimming. So that's another one. And uh, then like this one, which is, I'll just move these feathers out of the way because that's cream. Um, what I do have is like a pick, it's called a pick. You can make these yourself, no problem whatsoever. Make your own picks, they're lovely. Um, and what I'm going to do with this is just trim this off, get my pliers. I mean, like I say, they're just feathers put together with garden tape. And I bought some of the brown and the white and the green tape. Just make your own. That's all they are. Made up. Like that. I think that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
you know why buy what you can make um, the back of that let me just see I'm gonna I'm gonna actually push that down a little bit more like that isn't that lovely look at that and then you can add more to them I've got a white feather here that I can add to fluff up behind that one there's a nice big one I could say take off the that section and use them for butterfly wings I'll just take off a couple of the feathers blow it and it opens them up and then just place that over there like that and then add your back in which will cover those like that you know and then you've got that it's stunning they really are pretty uh, and with that one like I say I am going to put a little bit of iridescent beading like that now if you've got beading that is loose I have shown you before what to do with it and you take let me grab hold of one I've got a couple here in case I need another one take hold of a very very thin fine wire and kind of like make a loop pop the top bead in and twist just twist it and then what you do is you use that to twist around the bead and that's all you do, twist the bead around that wire like that and that stiffened that wire up now you know you can't see the wire but you can bend the bead in however you want it so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue on it and then pop this as far in there as I can like that and doesn't that look gorgeous and they're so easy and quick to make of these and you can't buy them like you can make them I know that um, and this last one hopefully that's dry-ish um, so I just put those back in the bag now, um, I have lots and lots of different feathers. I am a feather hoarder, I think. I think it's the only thing I like. Well, I don't hoard them, I actually use them. <laughs> but I'm mixing the purple and the silver together. Because there is purple in the glitter. So you can do that. And I'm just going to take off a couple of the centimetres of the stem. And I'm going to glue down the middle of the stem there and then attach that to the back of my flower like that there you go um now what was it where's my well i'm going to put another stick pin in of course um and i've got like a pinkish pearl like that so i'm not going to waste it uh, put another one underneath that in cream so you've got pink and cream that's a nice combination to have one of those and that I'm not putting anything on not even a bead cap because you don't have to use bead caps although they, they do tend to make them look pretty or prettier should I say and then we're just going to try and pop that like that oops See like that, and add in a bit of the pearl beading. So here's my wire because um, it's quite loose and flexible, and I don't want it. I want to be able to shape my wire, uh, my pearl string, to where I want it. Okay, and just do that. That bit hides behind the flower, so you're not going to see it anyway.
There you go, like that. I'm going to pop this in this side this time. So best thing to do is just to glue like that. I'm going to put it at the back, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to pop it onto the back and then quickly pop this on as well. Like that. And then I can bring this forward and because it's now got the wire on it, I can bend it and shape it and do whatever I want with it. Like that. And again, you've got a real pretty one. I'm going to put some more feather on the back of that one though. Uh, let me see. Oh, well, I've got that white one. I'm going to finish using the white up. Because you can mix and match your feathers. Don't be frightened to use and try anything at all. If it doesn't work, take it off, do something else with it. Like that. When I like that, I think that's really pretty. Silver, purple, white, cream. They all mixed together. And they're really pretty. Okay, so there you go. <coughs> just a few flowers. Let me just put the camera back, make sure you can see. using various, all the same lace, various centres and um, can you see that one? Yes, you can see that one. Uh, and different feathers and I think they look great. Thanks for watching, I'll speak to you soon.